Hey guys, Optimus Prime 86 here for another review. This time a little different than what we're used to. Um, a big thanks to my friend from St. John, New Brunswick, Jeff Sargent, for the gift of this beautiful 1989 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle sewer playset. So uh, it is not complete, almost, but not complete. Uh, we are missing uh, the little yellow piece that goes next to the fire hydrant on the top section. We are missing one of the railings for the elevator. And we are also missing two of the wires that go um, on the back wall computer of the uh, playset. But other than that, all other pieces are here. So um, I... Took the time to wipe it all down, clean it all up, and now we are going to put it together. So, let's start with making the base. So, all those darker gray pieces that kind of like are puzzle pieces, because there's these notches here. So, this is going to be the front part. And we have the steps that are going at the back. There we are. Then, let's put up the walls. So, we have our back wall, and here are the missing wires. Um, I am potentially going to try to acquire over time, depending on how hard it is. I'm not going to start investing in 50 play sets to complete the one. Uh, so, then, oh, sorry, I guess I should show you the other piece. Oh, and the back of this one. Let's do this a little slower. So with the back, we still have the stickers nicely applied. Most of them actually are still very neatly applied here on the toy. Great condition, um, especially for the age. Um, so then we have the side wall. Normally, oh yes, this is one other piece that we're missing. The blue little horn that goes in here that makes the elevator go up and down. But all the stickers, again, in place, and most of them still fully stuck. Now we have to bring these spark together with a little force here. One sec. Ah, keeps unaligning at the bottom. There we go. That click I was waiting for. Okay, now this one here, or this way. So we have the other wall that shows into their kitchen and then leaves the passage to go to the next room. Done the deal. There we go. From what I hear, this wall right here, that's why I was having a hard time there, is the one that's mostly prone to um, warping. That's why it might have been a little harder to set in. So we go with the front frame now for the front of the playset. Like the little puzzle. There we are. And then here we have the wall, the back wall for the front piece. I guess I should show it a little better. Just a sewer hole where the pipe is going to go attach. And then a few little details there. So here, actually, I think. This one. This is just a gray frame. And it goes here. Complete the room. And then this wall comes in here. 
and also latches together. Then, um, this piece right there in my face comes right here. So it's just the sewer hole as well where more pipe is going to be coming out of. All lined up. And then the front frame of the small room, again, kind of like gray frames like the other one. There we go. Let's get... There we are. So, that's create our frame. Now we add the top part. So one goes here on top. Just click it all in. There we are. And then this part here comes and finish the top of this one. There. Now, the elevator is going to come attach to the little knob here in the side such then this comes here in the back Come on. there we go it was backwards this one comes here And the railing that I'm missing is the one that goes here at the front. So when it comes up, it would come up here. So that's one part. Now, the piping so you want to have your curves and two of your regular pipes. And that's going to go. Right here in the back. Line it up. And then these two right here. Still trying to figure out where this one goes. Not sure. I'm gonna have to double check that for you guys. Oh yes, I remember because this bed goes in here. One second. Right there. There we are. There's a little notch and nook at the top. Now, this goes up here. These two and here we are. That should go right here. Then the periscope. Have it. Now where does this main hole cover go is the question. That one I am going to have to look up. It's a little 
little bomb we can store here when we're not using it. This has to cover a pipe somehow. I know we have the manual cover up here already. This one is going to be an enigma. But let me get my turtles. See here. I'm going to bring it a little bit over here. So before I start putting the figures in, I guess I should give you a closer look and tour. So this is what your playset should kind of look like because, you know, missing pieces and all when it is completed. I think it is a pretty cool playset, especially for the time, 1989. Now we're going to display some figures on it for fun. So, I'm going to leave the pipe and I'm going to bring the steps on solid. So we can have our bad guy here on the front trying to figure out how he can invade the turtles. See, I never understood. There was two molds made of Shredder in with the original turtles. I mean, two molds of the non-wacky action, non-super Shredder, like... And both of them had really weird leg positioning that was making them almost impossible to make them stand. This one inclusively. So, we're gonna have Raphael about ready to come up on the elevator. Come on. And that is why having that little piece is much better. There we go. And then... Oh, and see what I mean? Now Shredder is down. Again. Donatello. He's going to be down here, ready to protect Splinter. The foot makes it in. Leo. The hero that he is. He's going to be coming out the manhole to come help his other brother. We have Metalhead down in here trying to clean up. Put the van all together. Might as well while we're there. And Splinter. Chilling in the basement with metal head. Michelangelo. That's the trick I give you with the van. Use a little uh, elastic band to keep your turtle in the seat. Works like a charm. Might as well.
up in the power poles trying to get the drop on shredder oh. well he got the drop all right and then at this end there goes the bombs being dropped on the foot clan. Then we have the turtle van waiting for them as an escape. There we go, turtle van waiting here at the end of the escape. Oh. up shredder. You're really annoying. Like how did you expect? How do you expect to ever defeat the turtle if you can't stand up to them? There you go. And there we have it, folks. One last touch. Oops, of course he won't be able to support it. Come on. There we go. So once again now with turtles on it, Shredder holding the mutagen, Raphael coming up, Leo coming up. Nope, oh, Donatello fell on his back. Donatello at the periscope, keeping an eye out on what's going on out there. Splinter and Metalhead. Protecting, you know, the entrance to, or the access to the turtle van. And if the bad guys were to actually come in, then you have the action thing where you drop the bomb and boom! It explodes onto whoever is down there. So this is my complete review of the 1989 sewer playset for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. If you guys have your a chance to get your hands on it, I strongly recommend it. And something we will soon be reviewing as well on the channel, since Jeff was so good as to also provide such a nice piece, is, of course, the Technodrome. Yes, that's right, an original Technodrome as well. So thank you very much for watching, and stay tuned as we will be uh, having more uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle content coming up soon. Thank you so much for watching. This is Optimus Prime 86, and I say, Cowabunga, dude!